Welcome to the Rapid Fire Recap. Guys, I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. This is the review show where I take all the comic books I read for the week and I rank them from worst to first in a quick fashion with trying not to spoil everything, but I can't guarantee you there's not going to be spoilers. So let's not waste any more time, guys. Kicking off this countdown with number 12, we have Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man issue one. This book was such a disappointment for me. Peter Parker goes to Los Angeles to conduct some kind of experiment that's going to help people that has to do with water. He's in some kind of dream state. He has some artifact that helps him go into this dream state. Also, he doesn't know what's real, what's reality. But this book just felt disjointed all over the place. Was not a fan of it. And by the end of it, he comes across this crazy bear that comes out of the water. What the hell is happening? Am I going to get issue two to see what happens? Yeah, you bet you I am. Moving on to number 11, we have Predator Issue 3. We have our young female lead who's trying to get revenge because the Predators killed her parents. Her ship crash landed on a snowy planet and the Predator went after her. She prevails. The first half of this book is a very quick read and then the second half has to do with her trying to get her ship up and running, but the rest of the Predators come after her. I don't know. This is kind of predictable. This has fallen off my list quite a bit. Will I continue? We'll see what happens. Top 10. We have Carnage, issue 7. Now, these books are pretty good, but just some are better than others. And Carnage had to go after Malachi for a particular reason. Now, if you've kept up with this book, Carnage has absorbed powers from characters like Spot and hydro man in this issue he goes after Malekith because he has a piece of venom inside of him he succeeds in getting that piece of venom but why i mean isn't carnage the spawn of venom very interesting we're gonna see where this one goes Moving on, we have Nightwing issue 97 as we have Dick and Babs actually hooking up in this issue as they're trying to protect Maroney in a safe house because he's part of a witness protection program as he has all the dirt on Blockbuster. And by the time we get to the end of this issue, guess who makes his appearance here? It's Rick Grayson. Man, that's a head scratcher. We'll see what happens. Falling in the eighth spot, we have Flashpoint Beyond issue six of six. That's right, the conclusion. We will find out what was going on with the whole Flashpoint situation and everything was because of Bruce. He wanted his dad to stay alive even if it was in an alternate universe and he trapped him in some kind of globe. Things were about to go insanely wrong in the entire time stream as Rip Hunter was trying to prevent Bruce from doing this. But of course, as always, it's a calculated risk and it falls in Bruce's favor and the Flashpoint universe still exists. Pretty interesting ending and not a bad event overall. If you jumped off of Thor because of the Banner War stuff, I think now it's time to jump back on. Thor issue 28 promises something that you haven't seen in a while. Well, it has to do with Donald Blake. That's right, guys. He's going to be making his appearance. And when you read that comic, you're going to find out how and why. You get a team up here with Venom and Thor. And this also ties into kind of what's going on in the Venom book currently. So I suggest you check this out because I think things are definitely going to heat up when it comes to this series. On the outside, looking in, coming in at number six, we have 10,000 Black Feathers issue two. This one is done by a great creative team, Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino. You can't go wrong with these guys. They always put out great stories. And this story is about these two young girls that met each other. And you get to learn a little bit about them in these first two issues with them being kids and then going into teenagers. And they're working together to create these books these stories these games and you kind of get to see that one of the girls is not interested in making these stories anymore so she likes to go out and party and something happens to that girl there's also this weird interdimensional stuff where you don't know what's reality and what's real i definitely have a lot of questions when it comes to this book very curious to see where it's going i have trust in this team so i recommend this book guys 
Coming in at number five, and you might be a little bit surprised because it's a slower issue, Gunslinger Spawn issue 13. I mean, they all can't be gruesome, right? Not a lot happened in this story, but it looks like future issues are going to be fantastic as we're diving deeper into Gunslinger's origin. I mean, we went back to the 1800s in this book and it looks like he's confronting some bad guys. So you kind of get an inside look of maybe why he became the Gunslinger. So looking forward to issue 14 as this looks like it's starting a new story arc here. Getting closer to number one, we're at number four, and we have Deceased War of the Undead Gods, issue three. This book doesn't disappoint, however, it was not as strong as issue two, and this issue is a little bit jumpy, that was my problem with it, but we do get to see a little bit of a foreshadowing of who we think the hero is going to be in this book, and I think it's going to be Lobo because he can't get affected by the anti-life virus. We get to see a funeral of Wonder Woman. We get to see Adam Strange in this issue. And it was, again, a little bit jumpy, but still an interesting read. And there's still those jaw-dropping moments. I can't wait to see what issue four has in store. Top three now. You guys are going to be surprised at this. It's X-Men issue 16. I have not had an X-Men book in my top five in quite some time but this book was quite good as forge goes on a rescue mission in the vault to rescue a mutant do you remember who that mutant was and when you get revealed you'll be like oh yeah that's right but the lead up and for him to get in there was quite interesting and i love that the team how they're not getting along with each other. Especially, we have Scott and we have Havoc in there fighting with each other as well. They do battle against one of those evolutionized humans that come from the vault. Great story. Can't wait for issue 17. This was a lot of fun, guys. Coming in at number two, we have Midnight Suns issue two, part two, Prophet of Doom. I'm surprised how much I like this book and this team it consists of zoe wolverine magic blade spirit rider nico agatha harkness is in this book and there's a couple of different story threads going on here zoe definitely saw this apocalypse only magic people saw this vision as well all non-magic users are going to die agatha is coming up with a solution to work with zoe to fix this whole thing meanwhile dr doom is after the midnight suns themselves because he wants zoe and we get to see this cool battle between all of these characters i like how the team was trying to be strategic and we also get to see clea in here as well Definitely looking forward to the next issue. This book is a nice surprise. Coming in once again, we have World's Finest issue eight. As this book dives deeper into the newest character by the name of David, AKA Boy Thunder. He gets to go on his first mission with Superman. He has similar powers. He's trying to figure out how to use them. And there's something much deeper to this character that we don't know about yet and i think he was the reason why his whole planet was exploded to begin with he set something off but until we get there this book in itself was very enjoyable as we get to see the character interactions between him and the teen titans we get introduced to another character in this book which was so much fun it's just an overall great book and you get to see the struggles that this new character is going through to try to decide from what's right and what's what what's wrong you know great power comes great great responsibility a wonderful read here i definitely recommend world's finest mark wade is hitting this title out of the park so there you have it, webheads. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What were your favorite comic books of the week? And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you love my content, I'll leave you my content right here. In fact, this is the latest FOC. You're not going to want to miss out on those Batman and Spawn comic books. So as always, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, but always read your comics. Guys, thank you so much. Bye.